In this video, I'll show you how to do a bar chart and a pie chart. So here we are on our Excel file for Chapter 2, and we're actually on the second tab that says 2.2 starting salaries. And so here we're going to be comparing uh, salaries for males and females. So to do our bar chart, the first thing we want to do is to highlight the data that we want to display in the chart. And then I'll go ahead and go to the Insert tab. Uh, again, our charts appear here towards the middle, and I'm going to look for the bar chart option. So I'll click on the drop down, and again, you can play around and see which one looks best, but I'm going to stick to simplicity uh, in that I want a 2D bar chart. And so you can see I have males in blue and females in orange. But you might also notice down below on my X axis, I have uh, numbers 1 through 7. So Excel defaulted and put these in as labels, uh, but what we would be more helpful is if we could put the years there. So what we want to do is we want to fix this X axis right here. So if I right click, I'm going to get this little menu that appears and you'll choose select data and then our window appears. And so what we want to fix is our horizontal or category axis label. So note Excel reminds you that with bar charts, these are categorical values. In this case, our category is the year. Uh, and so I'm going to click on edit. And in here, I'm going to highlight the years 2010 through 16. And when I let go, you'll notice that the chart updated and changed my 1 through 7 into the actual years aligned with our salaries. So when I click OK, uh, and I click OK again, I now have a nice chart with my years. And again, you can add axis labels um, on the vertical and the horizontal sides so that you can say um, annual salary, for instance, or year. And also we want to make sure we have a nice title. So this is a average starting salaries by gender, for instance. So our bar charts can show if there is a tendency for uh, a particular gender having higher starting uh, salaries. Let's go ahead and do a pie chart by clicking on the tab that says 2.2 golf equipment. And so to do a pie chart, we're going to go ahead and select our data and go to the insert tab. And then in our charts over here, we're going to look for a pie chart. And I'm going to pick the 2D pie chart. And so as you can see, because I selected um, everything in my table, including the type of equipment, uh, it shows up in a legend uh, with the colors. Now, in general, people are not very good at figuring out um, percentages visually. So this is where if you right click on the pie chart, you can add data labels. But if you notice, the data label that appears is just the frequency from our data. We want to format this into percentage. So I'm going to click on my pie chart so you can see that the little box appears. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And it also lets me move things around if I want. But what we want to do is carefully right click on the data values. And you'll notice that they all get selected. And I'm going to choose format data labels right there. And you'll have some label options. So for instance, I don't want value, I want percentage. So I'll click on percentage and remove the value. And so the value is just whatever was in your table over here. And you can choose if you want to include the category names, as you can see, um, or you can leave it off and expect people to read the legend down below in terms of the colors and the categories. Um, and so you can play around with formatting in our format data labels uh, menu over here on the right. It's helpful to title this something more useful. So this would be um, golf equipment uh, usage or whatever the context is for this particular pie chart. What's also useful for a pie chart, especially since I don't have the values, is to provide the sample size. To quickly add my numbers, if I take equals sum, because sum means to add, and I highlight my cells here, and then I close the parentheses and hit enter, it tells me that 300 people answered the survey uh, about what equipment matters to them. Uh, so I would, in my title, make note that our N, or the sample size, is 300. That way people have an understanding of, well, what does this pie chart represent? 
300 people, 500 people, a million people answering on what golf equipment matters uh, for a good golfer. And so that's just a general tip uh, in business. Oftentimes with pie charts, make sure you have the sample size. Actually, in any chart, you should have the sample size dated somewhere um, on the chart or uh, in the report, for instance. So if you have any questions, just let me know.